How to build a Twitter bot in 2022 has never been easier. Unfortunately for Elon Musk, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Twitter bot in less than five minutes. With the knowledge that you're going to gain in this video, you're not just going to be able to create the bot that I will show you how to create, but you will also be able to create pretty much any bot. And the best part of this all is that we're gonna be using Microsoft Power Automate Desktop 2022 with the newest and greatest features all for free and available for Microsoft. No coding experience required. So let's get started right away. I assume that you have installed and downloaded Microsoft Power Automate Desktop, which is available from Microsoft for free and it's really easy to install. Once you have set it up, you will see something like this. Now, after a late update on my computer, I have lost all of my flows. So I have decided to start creating a series of videos where I'm going to be replicating the majority of the flows that I had lost. So let's get right into it. We're gonna create a new flow. In the new flow, we're gonna call this Elon Twitter bot and let's create a bot. So what kind of robot are we going to be creating? We're going to be creating a robot that is going to unfollow all of the friends that we have on Twitter. Now, the idea of this video is not to create really a robot that's going to unfollow all of our friends, but to show you how you can use the different features of this tool to create pretty much any kind of robot with the example that I'm going to be showing you right now. All right, so once we have created our blank canvas, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna launch Google Chrome. So to launch Google Chrome, we're gonna look for web browser automation right here. And then we're gonna launch actually Microsoft Edge. All right, once we have launched Microsoft Edge action from right here, we're gonna insert the URL of Twitter that we wanna go and automate. Now let's save this, let's test this out and let's just see that everything is working fine and let's take it from there. It has opened a new browser and it has taken me to the home page. Now I can automate all of the steps of going to my profile and going to the following and unfollowing friends, or I can just navigate directly to all of the people that I am following to this page and copy this link right here. Now, when I go back to launch Microsoft Edge, I can replace this link. And by doing this, I have saved myself a couple of steps of automation. So that is great, we're already down a couple of steps. Remember, if your robot has less steps, the better is going to work. Awesome. All right, so the next thing that we have to do is click on this button. What is going to happen once we click on this? We're gonna have a pop-up and then we have to click on this again. And that's when we are going to be able to unfollow somebody. Now, let's go back to our robot and let's integrate this into our automation. There is different ways that we can click on the unfollow button. Now, the easiest way to do it is by clicking on the record button. You can also drag and drop different actions. We're gonna use the easiest way since easy is good. Let's run this process and see what happens. So Twitter has opened on the correct page. So the next step would be to unfollow all of these steps. Let's use the recorder and unfollow all of the different steps. So the first thing would be to unfollow different people, not just uh, one person, but unfollow different people. So the easiest way to do this, and here is a tip, you should not select the div or the div, you should try to select the lowest element first and then work your way up and see what element works for your automation. So in this example, we are gonna select the span. So we're gonna click on unfollow and then cancel here. We're gonna click on the next one as well. And you can see that I'm generating different events right here. So this is our recorder in action. And then let's click on one more. And just for good practice, let's do one more. Awesome, all right. So now we have four buttons. This is going to be important, why? Because we're gonna create a robot that's going to click on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, until all of our all of our friends have been unfollowed. All right, so let's finish this automation. And we have generated a bunch of steps. Now you can see that uh, this step has been recreated, so I can just use everything that has been generated for me by Microsoft Power Automate. That's great. Let's test this robot and just see if it works. Let's add a breakpoint here. We don't wanna click it on all of the buttons. It has launched and it has already clicked on the unfollow button. So the next step would be to click on this unfollow button right here. But before we do that, well, actually let's do that straight away. 
Now, the next step is that we have to automate is to click on this button here. Now, again, there is different ways that we can do this. We can uh, record it, we can drag and drop, we can click with the mouse, or something easy is to just send a mouse keyboard, enter, and have it automate like that. So let's do just that. Let's search for send keys and we're gonna send some keys. So right above our breakpoint, we're gonna send some keys and we're gonna send the enter key. We are also going to give it a wait of two seconds. So we're gonna have it wait two seconds before sending the keys just to make sure that we are on the right page or maybe three seconds. All right, so we are going to open a new Microsoft uh, Explorer. So we change this from attach to running instance to launch a new instance. We're going to set it to maximize and then we're going to click on the item that we've spied before. We're going to wait for three seconds and then we're going to hit return. Let's see what this does. It opens successfully flow. It has clicked on the first page. It's waiting for three seconds and it has entered. So we managed to unfollow the pers first person. Now let's unfollow everybody else. So just as easily as we have done all of this, the next thing that we have to do is we have to create a loop. So let's create a loop. A loop is going to allow us to go through all of the different items. And we're gonna create a loop in the most efficient way possible. We are going to add in a loop right above this page. Here, we are going to add the number where the loop is going to start from. So the loop is going to start at zero and it's going to start at one. It's going to start at zero and it's going to end in 10 and it's going to increment by one. After that, we're going to move all of the different steps that we have created. We're going to move them inside of our loop. That means that they're going to repeat it 10 times. However, there is one problem. Right now, our button, this button that we have spied of clicking the unfollow button, is just set so that it's just going to click on the first button. It's not going to click on all of the other buttons. Now, for that reason, we have spied all of these other selectors. Why have we spied all of these other selectors? So that we can find the difference in them and we can uh, understand how we can create a custom selector. This is going to be super easy, so pay attention. Right here we have span, span 2, span 3, and span 4. So let's go to span and let's take a look at this selector. So this is what it looks like, more or less. Let's pay attention to these numbers right here and look for something that is changing. Now let's open maybe span 3 and see the same numbers. Notice anything that has changed maybe? I think there is a two that has changed right here. So to be 100% certain of that, we're gonna take this element, we're gonna create a new one right here, and we're gonna just paste the new element in there. Now, when we see these two elements side by side, we can see that right here, there is a discrepancy or there is a number that is changing. It's starting from zero and it is at two. That means that this number is dynamic. If we change this number, we're gonna be able to change our button to push on all of the different follow buttons. Now let's do just that. Let's double click on this, go into our, or let's double click on the bottom one, it's going to be easier. Go into the two that we know it's a dynamic number and right in there, let's add the loop index. Awesome, we have added the loop index that is going to be from one until 10. That is a variable that is generated automatically when we created a loop. Nothing complicated, it is extremely easy. Now we have created our first loop. Well, let's test this out and see if this works. I can also delete all of the other steps that I don't need and we can try this process and see what happens. So it has managed to open Twitter as expected. It clicked on the first button as expected and it also clicked on the unfollow. All right, now it clicked on the second one. It seems like it's working. So if the second one is working. So it seems that all of these are going to work. That's awesome. Amazing. Great. We have built a bot in just a couple of minutes that is able to unfollow all of our friends. Just like this, we can create all kinds of bots that follow other people, that copy tweets, that copy retweets, that post on Twitter and so on. Would you like me to create a specific Twitter bot? even though Elon Musk is not going to be that happy about it? Well, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next automation.